and welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Your chance to win a virtual million pounds by simply answering 15 questions in a row correctly. So if you're ready, let's play. Hello and welcome back to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? That's fine. Okay, here's... Still just so, it's just you, me and the computer. Okay, I need to know your name. Please enter it now. Excellent. Would you... If you don't need instructions, let's play. Good luck. Now, I hope you're ready for this. Here comes your first question. It's worth £100. Uh, which of these is a piece of wax used to keep a letter closed? Seal. It's good, you got £100. That took me far too long to realise the answer on that one. Have a look at this, it's worth £200. Which of these types of transport is a cab? It's a taxi. It's good for £200. Right, so far so good. Take a look at this for 300 quid. Uh, Torbay and Torquay are in which county? Devon. So you think it's A? You've got 300 pounds. <laughs> right, question four of 15 coming up. You're doing fine. Take your time, have a look at this for £500. What is a what? Cormorant? Cormorant? Alright, take your time, you've still got all... Okay, you want to phone a friend. Yeah, now let's call no them, idea. but remember you don't have to go along with what they say. Hello, Jane. It's Chris Tarrant from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Hello, Chris Tarrant. <laughs> well, your friend has reached £500, but needs you to help out to get a shot at the first big milestone question for £1,000. Fine. Right, Jane, here's the question plus four Just potential answers. We only want one of them. Ooh, I think I saw this mentioned on a wildlife program. From what I remember, a cormorant or a cormorant, is a big fish that the birds eat. The very best of luck in any case. Okay, we'll go with Jane, that Jane, thank you very much. She's saying You fish. can go with Jane's choice. Oh, Are you I'm happy with that? Better than my choice. Which is a no Well, you seem pretty confident. But I'm afraid it's the wrong answer. I can't believe you've done that. I'm so sorry. What do you mean I've done that? She gave me the wrong answer. The answer is B. Don't blame me, Chris. That's great. Right, here we go. You're 15 questions away from one million pounds. And if you're ready to play, have a look at this for 100 pounds. Is the capital of the United Kingdom? That would be London. Of course it is. You've got 100 quid. Take a look at this for 200 pounds. Which phrase means a vivid description in writing? A word picture? Word perfect? Word process? Word perfect? I'd say word picture? No, word perfect. All right, take your time. You think it's B. Uh, Are you happy with that answer? I feel like I've got that wrong. I'm very sorry. It's an early I exit have. for is you. It it's the wrong answer. Uh, C is the right answer. Uh, didn't know that. Probably had it before. I didn't know that. <laughs> we'll try again. <laughs> We're only five minutes in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. I laughed too loud then. Try again. We'll try again. This Good luck. Happen. Now, Honest. I hope you're ready for this. Here comes your first question. It's worth £100. Uh, 
Uh, of what is volcanology the scientific study? Probably volcanoes. It's good. You got one hundred pounds. Have a look at this. It's worth two hundred pounds. Which of these dates occur in a leap year? February the 29th. It's correct. You've got 200 quid. 30 days have September, April, June and November. All the rest of 31 except February all alone. You're doing well. You're just 13 days. questions away from a million. Know, look year. at this for 300 It's also a leap year next year. Because I was born on a leap year. So when my age is invisible by four, it's a leap year. <laughs> describes Joseph's All right, take your time. Code. You've still got all three um, lifelines. You've still got 50-50, phone a friend and ask the audience. Multicoloured. Mm, amazing. You're saying D. Okay. You're happy to go orange? You're absolutely yeah, right for £300. I wasn't, born I wasn't born on the leap year day, but I was born in a leap year. So, um, now, you've got 300 whenever my age you is divisible by four. Away with nothing. I'm sure you won't, but I hope you don't. But have a look at this next one. It's worth £500. What type of drink is Riesling? I don't know. All right, take your time. You've still got all three lifelines. You've still got 50-50. Phone a friend and ask the audience. Because I'm an old woman. Okay, you want to phone a friend? Yeah. Now, let's call them, but remember, you don't have to go along with what they say. No, I learned that last time. Hello? Hi, Mark. It's Chris Tarrant on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? All right, Chris. Well, your friend has reached £500, but needs you to help out to get a shot at the first big well milestone today, question for £1,000. OK, Chris. Mark, here we go. One question with four possible answers. We just want the right one. Riesling. Uh, I believe that's a kind of German wine. That's what I say. Wine. Yeah. Okay, cool. We'll go with that. Mark, that's excellent. Thanks for helping out. Mark thought it... Are you confident? No, but we're going to go with it. You're right. You've hey. got £500. I oh, didn't that, Mark. You've still got two lifelines, 50-50, and ask the audience. OK, have a look. Uh, you're just one question away from your first milestone. It's for a guaranteed £1,000. Here it comes. Where in the body is the hamstring? Isn't that in the knee? You're saying D. OK. You're happy to go orange? If this answer is correct, you're guaranteed to leave here with at least £1,000. Well done, it is the right answer. Well, at least we're at £1,000 now. Well, I was getting a bit worried about it. So, congratulations, you're now guaranteed £1,000 no matter what happens. OK, going on. Question six is for £2,000. Lands oh uh, helicopter. <laughs> I just had that one. You're going for D. I feel like I just had that one. You've just won two thousand pounds. <laughs> you are now just nine questions away from one million pounds and starting to look at some of the uh, bigger jumps. But remember, the drops are pretty steep as well. Take a look at this for £4,000. Which specific people work in an area named, named a manor? I don't know. I've never heard of a manor before. Other okay, than right. Using up your lifeline. The Ask the audience. All vote now. Well, they well now they A. seem very confident it's A. So it's up to you entirely. What do you think? Well, I think it's police officers. Police constables. 
Okay, please come. Final please. answer. Final. Congratulations, you've just won four thousand pounds. You've still got your 50-50 lifeline if you want to use it. The next question takes you past the halfway mark for the 15 correct answers you need for one million pounds. Good luck. Here it comes for eight thousand pounds. Which of these is the name of a magazine and a cocktail that's a cosmopolitan? You're going for D. Oh, I'd love to say you just won eight thousand pounds. You're about to. And I can. You have just won eight thousand pounds. Only works if I don't know the answer, Chris. <laughs> Gosh, I knew the answer on that one. You'll win £16,000 if you give me the correct answer to the next question. It's number 9 of 15. Take a look at it. Here it comes. Which teeth are your third molars? Third molars, it depends which way you're um, counting back. I don't say canine teeth, because canine teeth aren't part of your molars. I'm going to say wisdom teeth, because they're right at the back, and you've got two molars before the wisdom teeth. So you're saying it's A. Yeah. Are you confident? You've just won £16,000! <laughs> You've still got your 50-50 lifeline if you want to use it. So, you've now got £16,000. Now, this next question is worth £32,000. If you get it right, you're guaranteed to leave with at least that amount of money. But if you get it wrong, you drop 15 of the £16,000 you've got at this moment. You don't have to play this question, but it's worth £32,000. Guaranteed. Take your time. Here it comes. No, no, it's passed. We're good. <laughs> Just, just like it. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. Am I gonna sneeze? Uh, which spirit is made from molasses? Isn't that rum? So you think the right answer is C? Really Are sure you sure? Really sure. Oh, well done. You just won thirty-two thousand pounds. Oh yeah. I'm a genius, really. <laughs> I can't lie like that. <laughs> You've got £32,000 guaranteed. It's in the bag. No one can take that away from you at this good, point. Good. Now, the next question is worth £64,000. You might as well play this. You can't lose. Take your time. I'm going to play it anyway. Very Chris. big money. Here it comes. I've got to. I'll never get to the um, play money if I don't want. In Shakespeare's play, Love's Labour Lost, which type of character is Costard? I've had this before. And I want to say fairy. Because I've genuinely had that question before. Same I'm trying D. to remember the answer okay. that I gave last time. You're happy to go orange? I am. You had £32,000. You still got thirty-two oh, thousand pounds. I'm afraid it's the wrong answer. The answer oh. is B. Maybe I didn't say sorry last time. Hmm. Oh, that's slightly disappointing. Well, at least I've got a check this time. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there. So I will say thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode.